Um, hello, my name is Zachary Green. I am on my way to Mount Sac right now to do my first interview with the director of the Honors College. Her name is Linda. So this should be really insightful and really interesting. vloggers out there. My name is Zachary Green and this is vlog number two of my five-part vlog journey into my senior capstone project. Um, last week I discussed the premise of my project in vlog number one about how I'm going to be incorporating the role of junior colleges into um, the minds of high schoolers and how there's a negative preconceived notion that they are bad or there's myths about them which um, obviously may seem prevalent but they're not so this past week um, I actually made the commute down to Mount Sac and I met with Linda Diaz who is um, extraordinary by the way she is the honors counselor at Mount San Antonio College and she deals with some of the brightest kids that um, come through the college and maybe even through all of California. Um, let me just give you a little background about the Honors College. To be admitted to the Honors College, you have to have above a 3.5 standard um, average GPA coming out of high school. Um, you have to submit an essay. You have to have a letter of recommendation and you have to go take a placement test to prove that you can be placed in um, college level one um, English literature. And um, a majority of the kids they have um, that go through the program go through the UCLA um, TAP program and they have a 78% transfer rate into UCLA, which is the highest transfer rate in the nation to um, to that school, which is the most applied to university in the nation. So it's really interesting, but I'm gonna move ahead and start, I'm gonna play some clips and some pieces of it for you just so you can get a feel, and the rest will be in the final product. So thank you. So my name is Linda Diaz, and I've been at Mount Sac now for 34 years. I think this will be my 35th year. And I think, uh, and I love my job, I still love my job after all this time, and it doesn't seem like that long at all. But the joy that I get from helping students reach their goals trumps everything. You know, it's, it's just so yeah. um, selfishly satisfactory. Um, and then seeing the students succeed and move on, bachelor's, law school, whatever they want to do. And um, it's, very, it's a very rewarding um, job. So, I find that um, students who come to community college have a second chance. Yeah. Sometimes they didn't get admitted to their first choice school, or there's the, the usual about saving money, but there's so much more of a personal touch, as you were saying, at a community college than there is going directly into a university. Through the honors program, for example, at UCLA, the typical transfer rate is about 23%. Wow. Um, out of the general population. Out of honors, it's now 78%. Wow. A huge difference. Now, it used to be more like 89, 90% success rate out of honors, but the problem is students apply to the same 12 majors, and you can't do that and have a huge... So 4.0s yeah. are turned down sometimes. And Our students go everywhere. Um, UCLA is the number one, Berkeley is the number two, Irvine is quickly catching up with Berkeley because of all of the agreements that we have. I am a proponent of having fun while you're in school. Yeah. And because students pay 46 bucks a unit at California Community Colleges, or they qualify for what is called the Board of Governors Fee Waiver, which the $46 is waived, Wow. and students can be 13 units, 20 units, whatever, and they pay $33.50 tuition, period. That's the thing. Are there any myths about the schools or about JCs? I mean, that 
we haven't really discussed that you know of? Um, well, the one about being stuck, because yeah. we can always help with that. Um, that they're not going to be able to transfer to their school of choice. That is definitely a myth. Um, the fact that Mount Sac is become, going to become a university is a myth. Um, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> big myth. Um, uh, that, you know, that you can't experience a college life at a yeah. community college. And you just have to put yourself out there. There's student government. There's so many clubs. So Linda gave a lot of insight on Mount Sac and on some of really good points about it in community colleges. And I really like the aspect that she was giving about it. Um, so that ends vlog number two. Next week, I'll be at Riverside Poly High School and I'll be interviewing a counselor there. Her name is Danielle Sovine. So this should be really interesting to hear a high school's counselor's point of view on the subject. So um, have a wonderful weekend, week, whatever you guys do, and see you next time. Bye-bye.